this is the final one for me, I promise. Uh, yeah, no, Could you for long enough? Um, on Saturday, you went in Junior's absence. Obviously, you went for John Joe just off off the front. Is that something you'll look to do again this Saturday? How do you think that went? Um, we have we played that way last year. Obviously, the the last four or five games when I when I uh, took over as caretaker, and um, it worked for us. But we have different players with different dynamics and this, that and the other. You know, I wanted JJ in the team on Saturday because of the person that JJ is. He's a warrior, he'll, he'll, he'll get in the box, he'll get on the end of things, he can score goals and what have you. But, you know, I just didn't feel it was working, so I felt that I had to make a change. Um, you know, it was a, a little bit due to how Cheltenham were playing. I didn't feel that we were quite penetrating enough beyond them as much as what we needed to. You know, I'm not about talking about sticking the ball in behind all the time, but going down the sides and having the movement and what have you. And I just didn't think that it was working, so I felt that we had to make a change. You know, and then I make a change, and Powley comes on and pulls his hamstring inside 20 minutes. You know, and it also of time when we, I think it was one-one, and we broke away, and I think it was a three v two. We had a three v two in our favour, and then he pulled up, and I'm just thinking, I just cannot, I can't believe what's going on. But, um, but no, listen, JJ's a big player for us. You know, I've, you know he knows that. And um, but you know, we've got to, um, as I said, we've got to find, um, we've got to find a resilience. And I don't know. You know, we're looking into many things at the minute. I'm not going to overdo it. You know, I'm looking into many things because that's me. I I analyse, and you know, I know our fans are hurting, but. I swear to you, I swear to them, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I felt sick, like, to the pit of my stomach in, for the last two days. You know, it's not been, um, it's not been a nice house to be in, like, my house, to be fair, for my family. You know, I've, um, gone, up, gone through many, many things over and over in my head, and, you know, I do a lot of writing, and I reflect, and I watch the game, and I clip it back, and, you know, I take, Clips for individual players, and and then you know I've had three individual players. I've had three three players in this morning going through things, not not to criticise, but to try and help, to try and help them. You know everything that we try and do, and trying to help improve their players. And if we can improve the players, then we can improve the the team. But you know it's not. Um, I don't think we're. I don't think we're a million miles away. I really don't. I think we just we we need an edge. We need we we need to bring an edge to our game in both boxes. That's really the the key thing for me. We need to bring an edge, bring an edge to our game in in the in the key areas, which is in the boxes. And I think from you know uh, here, I think that we need if we can get a goal, if we can score the first goal. If we don't score the first goal, we're going to have some tough tough uh, games here. But we need to uh, we need to get that first goal, and if we can get that first goal here in that first half an hour, I think that that'll help us. That'll help us in terms of games. It'll drag drag teams onto us, and it'll it'll find us more space. and And I think that then our football will then even be be uh, even better and be able to shine through. But you know, when you keep possession of the ball, you're at the most vulnerable. We're at our most vulnerable, and we said it. We keep saying it every single day. We're at our most vulnerable when we're in possession of the ball. Dean, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Cheers.